Oh, what's up? I didn't see you guys then. Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope everyone's having a great day. For today's video, we're gonna be going to one of my vending machine locations where the machine is gonna be completely empty. Like I'm actually not joking whenever I'm saying that this machine is gonna be empty. So basically three weeks ago, I went to this location. I tried filling up the machines because they were pretty low. I tried going inside and they didn't let me in. Like they literally said I can't go inside because uh, apparently one of the employees got the virus. And yeah, I mean, pretty much they said we couldn't go inside. Uh, they told me they were gonna call me once it was safe to go back. And finally, yesterday morning, I got the call. They were like, hey, it's safe now. Come fill up the machine because it's pretty low. So I did go into the app to see how empty the machine was. It's kind of hard to see. It's this machine right here for the soda machine. And you can see the percentage on the right. It is 10% full out of 100. And just so you guys know, we normally go and fill up machines whenever they get to like, maybe like 55 to 60%. So today, I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna show you how empty the machine is. We're gonna collect the money, fill it up, and hopefully it did pretty good for the last couple weeks. So real quick, before we go, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you guys do wanna see behind the scenes, go follow me on Instagram. I pretty much post every single day. So again, if you wanna go follow me, the link is down below. But with that being said, let's go and fill up the first location. All right, you guys, so we just made it to the location. I went through the front just to double check and see if it's okay for us to come in. And they did say that we were good and it's safe for us to go back inside. So that's pretty good. I can't take this mask off. And it was so funny because they were so excited to see me just because they said the machines were empty. Like they literally said there was nothing in the machine. So they were like, make sure you fill it up all the way to the back. And I was like, don't worry, I got you. Now again, I am by myself today, so I have no idea how I'm gonna fill up both machines just because they do close in about like 45 minutes. So, I don't know, hopefully it's not too hard, so make sure before we go inside, you guys like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh my god, guys, they were actually not lying when they said the machine was empty. Check this out. Look at this. There's literally no drinks in the machine, which one of them actually fell. I don't know how. But yeah, at the most, I would say there's like 20, 25 drinks left. Which is really good, so I'm excited to see how much money is inside of this machine. But you guys know the drill, before I take the money out, which is right here, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the machine. I have all the stuff over there, and then I'll show you guys how much is in both machines. So I want you guys to take like 30 seconds just to admire how clean and beautiful the machine looks already. I do still have to fill up the bottom part of the machine, but the top half is already filled up and it's looking good. Alright everyone, so both machines are finally filled up. Check this out. So here we go, we got the drink machine. Every single selection is all the way to the back. You guys can see that. 
I do normally put Snapple in this machine, but Sam's didn't have any, so I did put body armor this time. But everything else is still the same, and yeah, that's the drink machine. And also, I did put in a few new items in this machine. You guys know we have been putting the, the Cosmic Brownies and also the Mentos in every single machine that we have. So starting off with the soda machine, let me go ahead and take out the bill acceptor over here. And real quick, let's get a drum roll. Three, two, one, and there it is. And there you guys go. That's how much money was in the, the soda machine. Yep, look at that, we got one five. So for the snack machine, you guys saw the machine wasn't really empty, so I'm not expecting a whole lot. But with that being said, let's see how much is inside. Ooh. Yeah, just like I said, I wasn't expecting a whole lot, but there it is. Actually, real quick guys, before we leave, check this out. There's actually two vending machines already, like right next to mine. There's a soda machine and a snack machine over there. These two machines actually don't work. I told the owner if he wants to sell them to me, but he actually doesn't want to, so they just basically just sit here next to mine, empty. <laughs> you guys can see before, pretty much the only drank diet drinks. Coke Zero, Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, Diet Dr. Pepper. Day two. Guys, this door doesn't work. Neither does your toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? Neither does your toothpaste. <laughs> you stinky breath. All right, everyone, as y'all can see right now, we are at a hotel and we actually have vending machines inside. Actually, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but this is where we have the ice cream frozen machine where like that one time everything melted and we had to come and throw everything away. One time? No, okay, like it was like four times that that happened and it was so <laughs> annoying. It's kind of sweet. Oh my God, look at this. Ew. That looks disgusting. Literally everything is melted. Oh my God, this thing is literally just a bag of air. Look at this, there's nothing inside. <laughs> and that's been going on for like the last two months. Literally all of summer. Like we were so excited to get this machine because you know summer was gonna be hot. We were gonna make a lot of money. There's actually somebody that's on their way right now that's supposed to fix the machine. Hopefully they can fix it. But yeah, I think the guy is actually here. So let's go inside and cross our fingers that he can get it fixed. So the, the tape is basically like pushing all the air, air yeah, out to the front? Whenever, yeah, it's, make, it's forcing it because right now, before it was coming through the crack, especially down here. Yeah. Now it'll force it where it's supposed to go. But the defroster is also working for sure. Okay, cool. So. All right, everyone. So right now we're actually in Walmart. Who are you looking for? Not you. Punching your face right now. But anyways, uh, we came to Walmart just because I think the machine might actually be fixed this time. I don't want to jinx it because that's what I said last time and it wasn't fixed. So and the not, time before that. And the time before that. So we're not going to get a bunch of stuff. I'm going to just grab like two or three of each ice cream. Because the mistake we made last time is we actually filled up the whole machine every single time that it melted. So this time, we're only going to grab a few things. These ice cream sandwiches sell really good. So we're going to go ahead and get, you know, the cookies and cream and the regular vanilla ones. All right, so we got some ice cream sandwiches. These actually also do good. The little crunch bars by Bluebell. So three of those, and then three of these little move bars. So we got the ice cream sandwiches, we got the crunch bars, the move bars, and I think that's actually all that they have today. Where are the fudge bars? The fudge bars? Somebody get them friends. <laughs> I got friends, okay? 
But look at this guys, look at all the yummy ice cream that's inside. We actually put these back in the freezer because they were... <laughs> Beef and cheese chimichanga. Can I have one? Guys, surprisingly, people actually buy the burritos. But how much do we sell them? Like $2? Two, two, bucks. two bucks. We get them for a dollar, so we make a dollar profit. So there we go, we got some burritos. Look, even something like this might be good, like a pot pie for the machine. But look how thick this boy is. That's a thick ass boy! Where'd you get that from? <laughs> this is gonna melt by the time we get home. Is that where it went? Yeah, don't you see it? Anyways guys, let's go to the front, let's pay for the stuff, and then let's go fill up the, the ice cream vending machine. Maybe una ultra palacet. No, I get crazy. If I drink this, then we'd have to buy that. No. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Guys, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and the grand total, 38 bucks and 54 cents for some ice cream. Yeah, pay up. Take that money out. Guys, this is why you should get a girlfriend. They pay for everything. <laughs> You're ugly. All right, you guys, yeah, I can see the machine is on, but first, let's check the temperature. So look at that. In the top, six degrees, bottom, negative one. So it looks like it's working. <laughs> guys, so actually, the funny part is that we paid the guy, how much was it? It was like $385 just so he can put tape down here. <laughs> That's literally all he did. He said everything else seemed fine. There was no issues. He literally just put tape. I don't know though, 400 bucks just for duct tape? I mean, I guess it's what they say, you know, duct tape fixes everything. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, with that being said, let's fill up the machine before the ice cream melts and then let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dose. Yeah. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't. Always been one up on all of these. They be trying to front for all of these. I ain't got time cause they all in they feelings. I said the gang and we making a killing. It's 2020 and they notice the vision. You be the hero, I'm playing the villain. The underdogs and we walk in the building. We getting money, yeah, they think that we dealing. They talking hot, yeah, if they a penis and we won't stop till we all touch a million. Don't ever forget, but we probably forgive them. I'm living, taking the cards that was given. My blessings is already written. Wrapped little ribbon, putting ourselves in positions to making some major decisions. I Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? Alright, you guys, so there we go. The machine is not all the way filled up, but we try to make it look full. You got you guys can see those go like two back. So we got the Twix ice cream, the Snickers, the bars down there, the ice cream sandwiches. You guys can also see the pot pie actually did fit on top, barely. Like, barely. <laughs> barely fit. You guys, look at this lighting though. The sunset lighting. Perfect for Instagram post. You gotta make sure it's closed right. <laughs> Cause somebody left it open last time. Okay, then you close it. No, you can't really see it. Guys, so we actually stopped in the middle of the road so we can take a picture with the sunset, but you can't really see it. I'd say just get in the middle of the road, so I'm scared. Middle of the road? Yeah, like stand right there. No, we can't do that. We can't even see when the cars are coming. I know, that's what I'm saying. 
Guys, it's so funny because my girlfriend is so scared of possum, she keeps looking around. It's because you don't understand. Ever since that one time I ran over it, oh my god. You ran over a possum? Yes! Wait, what is that? Stop, playing it! Stop! <laughs> okay, let's go home. <laughs> All right, you guys, so before we end the video, I'm gonna tell you guys how much I actually collected from the location you guys saw at the beginning of the video. So I do have all the bills right here. That's the stack for both the soda and the snack machine. And over here is the rest of the coins. We actually got a lot of coins, which I was surprised because I normally don't get a ton of coins. But anyways, I did count the money already in cash. We got $196 with 50 cents which doesn't sound like a whole lot for three weeks uh, but in credit card sales we got 241 dollars so in total for that location in three weeks we got a total of 437 dollars with 50 cents but yeah that's how much i collected from that location it could have been a lot more if the machine was actually filled up every single week but yeah anyways with that being said i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did of course then drop a like on the video subscribe if you haven't already I'll see you guys in the next one and peace out.